Welcome to a Toast of the Men Network with your guy SD. Thanks for joining me. As you can see, it's late night, getting some work in. Got a few projects on the table, so doing a lot of writing. It's a beautiful night, though. Beautiful evening. Yeah, Toast, I want to touch on this uh, John Moran. John Moran situation. John Moran, if you do not know, is a NBA point guard for the Memphis Grizzlies. I believe this is his uh, third year. I believe uh, between second and fourth year, maybe his third year. Talented, talented brother, talented player, uh, very athletic. Reminds me a lot of Russell Rus Russell Westbrook, and uh, yeah, just goes hard. The entire game can be reckless on the court sometimes, not as much as Russell, but uh, it goes hard. Motor never stops, competes, a lot of passion, and uh, ironically, that's his favorite player growing up was Russell. So uh, yeah, they have a a lot of things in common on the court, but. Uh, Right now, man, the young brother John Moran has found himself in a pickle, man. Uh, he's suspended indefinitely by the NBA. And, and he's been getting in a few uh, mishaps, altercations over the last, I guess, two years. And, man, it's really hitting the fan now. But uh, the most recent thing is. You know, he got into it with the 17 year old. And, uh, let's put his hands on the 17 year old kid. And, uh, you know, the 17 year old and his mom filed suit. Well, later it was, it was uh, revealed that, you know, John Morant had flashed a gun at the young brother, at the young man, or kid, and flashed a gun at him. And so he was suspended two day, two games for, for that. But then recently, he's on Instagram, and it's, it's apparent that he has a gun tucked in his waistband on IG. And uh, the NBA said, man, that's enough. And so they suspended him indefinitely. So we don't know when he's going to come back. And this is a young man who signed a $200 million contract who's just got, got big money uh, for a shoot deal also. And it looks like he's folding under the pressure. You know, people, in these situations, people like to say, well, he's hanging around the wrong people. He's hanging around the wrong crowd. Maybe he's the wrong person. Maybe he's the negative influence. Maybe he's the lead dog in all this, and he's influencing others. You know, just because he has the talent, he has the skill set, he's the professional basketball player, and he's getting in trouble, doesn't mean he's being influenced by other people. He may be the guy influencing others. He may be the ring leader. Uh, so, you know, he has to be accountable. But I think, you know, I don't know the man, of course, but I think things are happening real fast in this life. A lot of fame, a lot of money, a lot of responsibility, and he's forced to grow up. He's the face of the team, he's the leader, he's the point guard, and he's one of the faces of the NBA. And so, let's go back to him being a point guard. You know, I made a video about Dion and his remarks on position players and how he likes to recruit, depending on if they come from a single parent home, uh, uh, a two parent home. And although he was talking about football and the quarterback, well, he, he referenced the quarterback in one of his examples. He's talking about football. I mentioned, you know, it's the same with the point guard. The point guard is an extension of the coach. And he has to be a leader of men. Or he's not going to go on our respect. 
and they just won't win. They won't win the championship. Now, I also said that probability-wise, it's more probable you raising a son, a young man who has leadership skills that comes from a two-parent home opposed to a single-parent home. I mean, I say it's arbitrarily uh, true or it's 100% factual, but probability you have a better chance of uh, raising a leader coming out of a two-parent home than a single-parent home. Can leaders come, come out of single-parent homes? Of course. Of course. Can, can bad leaders or non-leaders come out of two-parent homes? Of course. And this is one prime example. You know, my accountant, he comes from a two-parent home. His dad is damn near at every game. Uh, but this young man finds himself in a lot of trouble. He may be facing jail time, at least uh, probation. And he has a lot on the line. Could lose a lot of money. And he's only 23, I believe. And so, uh, yeah, man, his whole future ahead of him, this is generational wealth he's tied to. This is, this is generational changing wealth. And uh, it's right there in his hands to, to uh, maximize or to fumble. Now, even before all this stuff, even before he was getting in trouble, I used to see his dad at the games, his dad fanning out over players, fanning out over his son. Uh, extra, you know, very extra, very flamboyant. And it just, it raised an eyebrow. It raised an eyebrow because I was like, okay, this the cool dad. He's, he's, he's friends with his son. He's fanning out over his son. And I never liked that person. You know, people could do what they want, but I just don't think it turns out well. You know, I think your son has to earn that right and go through some stuff for you guys to be called, you know, friends. You know, of course you'll always be his father, but to become friends, he has to really go through some stuff and earn that. You gotta earn my friendship. Uh, but so how does a young man get in this type of trouble? And he has a father in his life. Just looking from the outside, dad's very immature. Dad's fanning out. Dad's always in the mix. Too much. Gotta be a father. Can't be a fan. Be a supporter, no doubt. Ultimate supporter, but you cannot be a fan. That's my belief. You cannot be a fan. You cannot be objective. You cannot. Uh, be critical when you're a fan. It's too emotional. And uh, it blurs your vision. But uh, that's what I think was going on. So, you know, I know people say, well, hey, man, John Moran is grown. Yeah, but he's still developing. And although he is legally grown, he's making his own money, he's still being reared. He's still being parented. And, uh, you know, so I have to say, the male brain doesn't fully develop until between the age of 25 and 30. And so this young man is 23. It may be hard for some of you to accept. He's making a lot of money, extremely talented, but he's still developing mentally. His brain is still developing. His decision making is still being developed, believe it or not. And so his father got to be a father. Gotta be a father. Uh, can't be a fan. And, you know, it's gonna be kind of tough because he's been this way, I assume, for a number of years. So if he tries to switch that, you know, to another level or change it up, it's gonna cause some resistance, some conflict. But he has to be willing to do that for the sake of his son, for the sake of his son's future. He has to be willing to do that. And uh, if there is conflict, if there is a breakup, I think they'll come back together once uh, John matures and see what his father was trying to do. But uh, I think you just can't be a fan, man. You can't be a fan. So, you know, I look at this and I was like, man, he, he gave LeVar Ball a hard time for being strict. Uh, and, and LeVar even said he's not his son's friends. He's not a fan. He's not there for that, you know. Uh, 
Jay LeVar, hard time. Hard time. But uh, you see what happens when the father does, does the opposite. You know, well, on the other end of the spectrum. Because LeVar, I guess, could be extreme. And so you see what happens on the other side of the spectrum also. So, uh, you know, help the young man figures it out. We've all made mistakes. <clears throat> now, many of us can say that we've had the fame, the prominence, the talent, the money that this young man had, has and has made mistakes. You know, uh, so it's a lot of pressure. And subconsciously, he just might be folding under the pressure. He may be sabotaging himself uh, due to the pressure and not knowing. You know, it's a lot of responsibility. A lot of people pulling at you. I'm telling you, a lot, I'm sure a lot of people are pulling at that young man, knowing the, the amount of money he has at his disposal. So it's a lot of pressure, and uh, it's going to take some good mentoring, uh, some good fathering to get him through this. But I believe he can. I believe he can get through it, but his father's going to have to step up, no doubt. He's going to have to step up and be a parent, be a father, and not a fan. As always, Tosis, from me to you, love, peace.